How many of y'all are building some awesome product for the web? How, how many of you know when that product breaks in your customer's hands? How many of you know because you use Track.js? Yeah! I'm Todd Gardner, along with Eric Brandis and Nick Pelton. We are the co-founders of Track.js. And I'd like to tell you some stories about our customers and how they find and fix bugs in their JavaScript applications and make the web a better place for their customers. Docalytics is building a knockout JS application. They have logging in their server side and they can quickly respond to issues if something breaks. But how do they respond if something breaks in their client side JavaScript? That's not running in any sort of cloud, that's running in their customer's browser. When a customer clicks on a button and it does nothing at all, how do they know? They use Track.js. With Track.js on the page, we see more than just that an error happened. We see everything that happened leading up to the error. We see what the user was interacting with. We see the network request happening, and we see how your application state is changing over time with our recorded console. Track.js polyfills console.log and includes those messages with any error that we send. Um, essentially adding print line debugging to production JavaScript apps. In this error report, we see that Firefox users interacting with the registration page are having a problem. We can see the page initializing and then fetching some information from their API. The user begins interacting, entering a 16-character email address into the form and clicking a submit button. But here's where they run into a problem. It appears there's a bug with the click handler on this app. Track.js showed Docalytics exactly where in their application and the user flow it took to re recreate the error. Track.js also captured some general information about the customer, including their operating system, screen size, and IP address. We recorded all of the other JavaScript libraries that were on the page at the time and their version. Because Docalytics also gave us some information about their customer, we can go in and see what other errors they encountered. In this case, it was this huge customer. We can see that huge customer tried to register a few times over a few minutes and kept encountering an error. Doculus can go out and reach out to their customer and make sure that everything is resolved. Of course, this is just an example of what TrackJS can do. The registration for Docalytics works great. Now I'd like to tell you about KidBlog. KidBlog is building an AngularJS application for their next gen release. But as they develop, how do they know if they are fixing or creating new bugs for their students? They're using Track.js. With the Track.js dashboard, we can, uh, KidBlog can see how the quality of their app is changing over time. They're doing really well right now. Their, errors, their error rate is really low, and we're only seeing a few errors every hour. They're even improving this further. Their error rate since yesterday is falling, despite their hits increasing. We can see how they're trending over time. Um, and how their error rate and hit rate is changing. And we can drill into any one of these days and see the errors happening. There's just a few things dominating this list. E is undefined, a 404 issue, and a problem with the sanitizer. KidBlog can easily see this, prioritize the important issues. Back on the dashboard, we show KidBlog the most prevalent browsers, URLs, and messages that their students are running into. And they can prioritize this work without having to wait for the student to run into a problem or report the error. Track.js gives KidBlog insight into how their application is performing and how to improve. Major League Soccer is building a complex second screen application using Backbone.js and Socket.io so that their fans can interact in real time with matches. When problems happen due to the high performance nature of their application, it can quickly scale out of control. So how do they track their faults? They use Track.js. In addition to the telemetry information that we capture, Track.js is far more likely to capture a stack trace than browsers are normally capable of. JavaScript is notorious for terse, uninformative errors, so having that stack trace is important context to debug. Track.js polyfills a lot of the base browser level API and captures errors bubbling out of callbacks to record stack trace and other important information. But sometimes that's not enough. JavaScript is asynchronous, and it's hard to understand how callbacks started. That's why Track.js built or introduced our bind stacks feature. Bind stacks allow the developers to see how a callback became a callback to begin with. What was the execution stack at the time of the error, and what was the execution stack when it started? 
Major League Soccer recently introduced this feature, so the next time an error is captured, we see this deep stack trace. The deep stack trace shows us all of the things that were executing when the error actually happened and how the error came to be bound up to an event, and then the time difference between the binding and the event. This lets Major League Soccer analyze complex binding and timing issues in their application. In this particular case, we, the root cause is a click handler that was bound up during application initialization. TrackJS gave Major League Soccer detailed information to debug a complex, real-time application. Today, TrackJS is capturing 90 errors a second and protecting 500 million pages every month. We support all major browsers, i8 better, and mobile browsers. We're protecting applications written in Knockout, Angular, Backbone, React, and custom frameworks. And our engaged customer base has adapted us into Windows Phone, PhoneGap, and Apache Cordova. TrackJS is a JavaScript error tracking service for production modern web applications. You can recreate the steps that led to errors. You can dive deep into error information. You can see trending to improve your products. I'm Todd from TrackJS, and we're here to help you build a better web. You can get a free 30-day trial at trackjs.com. Thank you. Thank you.